hello what's up everyone welcome back to my channel now today i'll be showing you how i made these delicious lemon blueberry waffles so guys let's get started so here i have my lemon some blueberries baking powder salt vanilla sugar and of course you could use vanilla flavoring i have some granulated sugar some great seed oil but vegetable oil is okay too and i have some milk over here i have two eggs some all-purpose flour i'm gonna go ahead and crack the eggs into the bowl and i'm gonna go ahead and remove that little white part called the chalaza this tend to make whatever we are making smells a little bit raw or gamey and we don't like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove and then i'm gonna start whisking up Now I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar. Now I'm going to whisk until I have a light yellow and fluffy consistency. Now guys, if you have a hand mixer, go in with it. I wish I had taken out mine, but I was too lazy to go and take it out. So listen, whisking this was no joke. So if you have a hand mixer, go ahead and pop it out. So we're going to whisk until nice and fluffy. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my oil and my salt. And of course, I will use everything that I'm using. I will list everything that I'm using down in the description box so you could go ahead and check it out. And as I mentioned before, if you don't have vanilla sugar, vanilla flavoring is just fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and zest my lemon in. Now you could add as much or as little lemon zest as you like. I like to add maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Now I'm going to go in with my milk. Now I'm going to go in with my all-purpose flour. It will seem a bit lumpy, but that's okay. Those little lumps are fine, and I added my baking powder. You want to make sure you had enough baking powder because that's what's going to make them light and fluffy. And don't worry if the batter looks a little loose, that's okay as well. we want to mix until just combined because we don't want to over mix this and develop the gluten and make it hard and rubbery we want some nice fluffy waffles now i'm gonna go ahead and add my blueberries but guys without the blueberry you could just make those delicious waffles you could add whatever fruits you like in your waffle or you could just leave it plain either way it's just as delicious Now here I have my waffle iron. Now this is an easy waffle iron to use. You could find this on Amazon and it's pretty affordable if you don't have one. Now it's a non-stick waffle iron so I don't really need to grease it. So I'm going to go ahead and add ladles of this waffle mixture. Now you don't want to overfill this because if you fill it too much it will ooze out the side. Now I'm talking from experience so you want to make sure that you add just enough and leave the edges because once you cover it it will spread out. And once it's done the green light will come on and there you have it. You could make it however crispy or light you want it depending on your 
liking i'm gonna remove this now i did opt for a wire rack because leaving them on the plate they were gonna sweat and get soggy and i wanted hair to pass through as they cool down a bit and now you could place this in your oven if you're gonna serve right away you want to keep them warm you could place this in your oven on your lowest setting now we're gonna complete we're gonna continue on with this step until all the waffle is done now this is the final one not all of my waffle is done and let me tell you these are smelling amazing i dress these up with some fresh blueberries blackberries and raspberry and of course some strawberries now you could dress this up however you like and guys if you've reached this far in the video and you like this video give it a big thumbs up you could support my channel by hitting that red subscription button and turning on the post notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video and also if you like this video share it to your families and friends and leave me a comment down in the comment section telling me what you think about this recipe and here I am drizzling on some pancake syrup now guys you don't have to use pancake syrup you could use whatever you like if you like honey and whipped cream honey butter whatever you like the options are endless and let me tell you guys these were absolutely delicious the perfect breakfast for date for like breakfast date or if you want to surprise your special person on valentine's day this is the perfect breakfast for that occasion i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one have a good day and bye for now